hi guys you're welcome back to an interesting tutorial today we'll be learning how to make this trendy top with the exaggerated sleeves so let's get started now we'll be starting with our basic bodice pattern and I've already drawn some lines so this is my center front line this is my shoulder line then I have my shoulder to chest line I use 9 inches then shoulder to bust points then we have shoulder to the um, waistline and of course shoulder to the length of the top now on the shoulder line I will be marking half of my across back measurements or my shoulder measurements I'll mark the same thing on the chest line then I'll use my ruler to connect both points together that's the shoulder and the chest line we really do not need the bust point line okay you don't need it for this particular tutorial now on my chest line i will mark quarter of my bust circumference then i'll just add half inch for ease ease is to you know make the top a little bit free it's not seam allowance please then on the waistline i will mark quarter of my waist circumference minus one inch or you could mark quarter of your bust circumference and add the allowance for the dart well, I'm not going to be showing the dart. Okay, so it depends on the degree of freedom, but definitely you can't mark quarter of your waist because you need allowance to be able to wear it. There's no zipper. Okay, then on the hip line, you will be marking quarter of your hip measurements. You could add half inch for each too. It's a free top. So now I'll be linking all points together like that. Then I would add my seam allowance, which is one inch. So I'll just mark one inch for my side seam allowance and I'll also connect all points together. Next is to create the neckline. So um, I'm blending off all the sharp edges there. Now for the neckline, it has to be wide enough to pass through your head, but not too wide like to start falling off your shoulder. Okay. So for neck weight, I'm marking 4.5 inch. Okay, the neck depth I'm doing 3.5 inch. So I'll just connect them together with my curve driller. Now the thing is, before you start sewing, you could actually um, join the shoulders together first, test the neckline if it's fine. If it's tight, you can still reduce it a bit. Okay, so I'm just joining my neckline like so. Then I'll be creating my shoulder slants. I'll come down by one inch from the shoulder line and draw the shoulder slant like this. Okay, then I will use my French curve to um, create the armhole curve. Okay, so here. Now, after we're done creating the pattern, we're going to be using this to cut both the front and the back. So, um, the last thing to do is just to shape the hemline, okay? So that your top does not have this um, very straight look, okay? Just slightly come up by one inch and then you curve it towards the center front. So you could either use the um, your curve part of the ruler or the straight part, whichever one, just to give you some sort of um, sort of shape. Okay, so I will cut out and transfer this to my fabric. So here, this is my fabric. I've already cut out two pieces, one for front, one for back, and both of them are on fold. Then uh, I felt my neckline was too wide, yeah, so I reshaped the neckline. Instead of doing um, 4.5 inch, I reduced it to 4 inch. That was before I cut out the fabric anyway, yeah. So, um, now to the sleeve. Very easy, very easy. This is your pattern paper, so I first of all drew my sleeve headline, okay. This is the highest point of the sleeve. Then um, I marked four inch from my sleeve headline down. That'll be my cap line. If you've watched my previous tutorial on how to draft the basic sleeve, you would um, understand better how to get the cap line anyway. Yeah. So sleeve headline, cap line, and of course um, the last line will be the sleeve opening or the hemline for the sleeve. Okay. So I did on um, twenty two inches, I think. Yeah. Now. On the um, cap line, I'll be extending it. Now, um, for normal basic sleeve, you're supposed to mark half of your armhole circumference. 
on that line but this for this particular tutorial we're going to be doing the full circumference so i'm marking 18 inches or i could even approximate it to like 20. if you want yours to be bigger you can actually increase it okay so this is 20 inches i added an extra two inches to uh, my armor circumference measurement so i'm marking the same thing on the hemline and i will join together so i'm having sort of like a box yeah like a box it's not a square yet. it's like a rectangle sort of then with my curve ruler i'll be drawing the armhole uh, curve okay yeah so obviously um this is more than the armhole circumference so we have excess to create splits on the bodies okay all right so i'll be cutting out and i will also transfer this to my fabric so i'll be adding half an inch to this part of the sleeve here then for the sides you might not add seam allowance because you have enough excess already then the hemline i'll be adding about three inches to that okay so my sleeve this is um three inches at the hemline like i said so that three inches would be for part of the roll then and then you see how an extra of about two inches to make this thing have this puffy look to have that very straight look you have some allowance to move the sleeve up okay yeah so let's go straight to um sewing parts okay now we'll start with the bodies i'll be joining my front and back pieces together with um half an inch at the shoulder so approximately i used to two yards of mercury fabric okay and um, mercury fabric has this shiny glassy feel and look okay so i didn't use a dance i didn't use satin like um, some of us already predicted in the post i made yeah then with my bias tape i will be taping the neckline around you can use facing but i wanted something really fast and quick so i used bias now for my sleeve okay um we are going to be adding the sleeve to the bodies okay now this is um the lower part of my sleeve i'll be marking 5.5 inches okay on the wrong side so this is the mark this is where we're going to be adding our elastic on that line okay so this is 5.5 inches then um the top the sleeve here there i'll be making a notch okay to for me to be able to like recognize the center of my sleeve and i'll be adding i'll be um, adding that part to my shoulder on the body on one side of the um, armhole okay we have two sides in the body so the part i notched i'll pin it together like this now because the sleeve is big obviously um the sleeve is going to be like longer than the length of the armhole yeah so the excess will be used to create pleats around this, um, the top of your sleeve around the shoulder so i'm just pinning like this this is one end of my armhole and i'll also pin the other end of my armhole like that okay so after pinning i would sew up to like three inches before the mid shoulder then the excess will not be pleated same thing on this other side here i will sew up to like three or four inches before the shoulder okay then i would pleat the excess like that so after pleating you're going to have something like this you can see i pleated only the top part okay then um for the lower part you're going to do a rolled end of like half an inch twice or quarter of an inch okay then remember the part that we draw the chalk on yeah we want to fix the elastic now so the elastic you measure the part where the sleeve will be stopping the elastic will be okay like that then you use your chalk to mark the center and i'll use my pin to pin it down to the center of my sleeve okay so by the time you stretch out the elastic which i'll show us now 
you can see that you didn't get to the end of the sleeve there so what you're going to do is you're going to be creating pleats on that same line you pleat pin it down pleat pin it down till we get to the other end okay so as you're pleating you'll be stretching the elastic till the elastic stretches to the last pleats i don't know whether um, i'm making sense okay so you can see i'm checking i'm not there yet okay so after creating the plate i'll now check can you see so now that the elastic has gotten to that end i will stretch the elastic and sew on that line and i'll repeat the same thing on the other side of the sleeve the same plate first and then sew the elastic on it okay it's really pretty simple it's not something difficult okay so this is what you're going to be having like that okay yeah then I would now um, fold my bodies while working on one side okay I'll fold my bodies like on the wrong side and I'll sew one inch on the sleeve all the way down and I'll repeat the same process on the other side of my armhole okay so after doing the roll them on the lower part this is where you're going to be getting it's really really nice really simple i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please share like and leave your comments thank you